Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Spider-Man No Way Home, Matt Murdock, aka The Really Good Lawyer, aka Daredevil. And I am, I'm still pinching myself about the fact that we got him in the movie. That was so awesome. And the fact that we got him in No Way Home, you know, when that released, and that was the same week that we got Kingpin in Hawkeye, that was so beautifully done and I don't know like I have to imagine that that was planned right like it had to have been but if it wasn't that was the best coincidence in the world for Daredevil fans and this figure is also a Daredevil fans dream because we finally have a good suited body we finally have a just straight up Matt Murdock and the only thing that really could make this figure better is if he came with like closed fists but I mean, technically speaking, he really doesn't need to, and there is no reason for it, just because we didn't see him, you know, throw hands or anything in the movie. But it just would have been cool for him to come with those, just for Daredevil fans. But the things that he does come with are so awesome. So as you can see right now on him currently, he has his stick that he uses to walk around, and this is very nice. You could definitely use this with a comic Daredevil as well. It's got nice texturing on the handle it's got the different like you can see that it's collapsible just based on how like you know they sculpted it obviously it's not actually collapsible it'd be cool if it was but it would have had to have been a lot bigger and a, been a lot more fragile it's got the uh sort of like rubber grip at the bottom here which is really cool he's got the handle up here which can be kind of annoying unless you have him in the pose that i had just because it it looks kind of strange if you just have him holding it from the grip then you have just this piece sticking straight up but I love this. This is really cool. And it's actually, it's pretty sturdy too. Obviously don't go bending it too much. It will break, but it's really cool. And I'm glad that they got the size right for it too. Cause like if I focus here, I feel like the size is pretty accurate for him as well. But then the best accessory that he comes with is the, we believe Mysterio brick that he caught in the movie when he said, you know, I'm a really good lawyer. And it's kind of hard to tell, but it does say, it says we believe Mysterio. And it actually, it's really hard to capture on camera here, but it actually has the news stuff printed on there, like the news letter. Ah! Has the lettering printed on there, and then, of course, you know, the brick. The fact that it is a brick and that it's wrapped in the string and all that stuff on it, which is really cool. There's a lot of detailing on this, and I'm sorry that I can't capture it on camera to the best of my abilities, but, like, this is, this is insanely detailed, and I love it so much. Detail-wise, this figure is very nice. He... I think it looks like Charlie Cox enough. I definitely want to hit the face with a dull coat, though, because, like, you can see his, his stubble in that and his chin's a little a little too shiny for whatever reason. But his hair looks good as well. It, he looks exactly like he did in the movie, and I love that. He's got the gray suit with the white undershirt. The black boots or, you know, shoes, belt, and tie look great. The buckle on his belt is actually painted as well. He's also all pinless, which is so cool to get for the new body. And with the fact that it is pinless, they give us new shoulders, which, you know, if you have any suit figure, you know that, you know, on the old suit figures, you could only go to about here with the articulation, and then you wanted to throw it at the wall and scream. But now, because they gave him rounded shoulders, because they gave him rounded shoulders, can go all the freaking way up. How awesome is that? We can actually get a suited figure and a daredevil suited figure in, you know, action poses, which is so awesome. But back to the detail, I mean, he's got, of course, you know, his red glasses, his, you know, with the lenses and everything, which look so nice. I think right here, especially, I feel like this captures Charlie Cox the most, this angle right here. But yeah, I think it looks a lot like him. I also think it looks like, I don't know what character it is from The Simpsons, but he also kind of looks like a character from The Simpsons right now. Um, and I think it's just because the way they have his hair styled, because it's a little different than what it was styled in the show. And I think that that's probably just because what they had to work with in terms of what Charlie Cox had at the time when they were filming his scene for No Way Home. But this looks, I think this looks fine. I think it looks enough like Charlie Cox. Other than that, detail-wise, I mean, sculpt work, you know, it's the same, like, jacket and all that stuff that we've seen. The wrinkles throughout the suit to make it look like an actual suit and all that are really nice. But there's really not a whole lot going on, so... I guess let's just get into the articulation. I talked about in the MJ review that I thought that Matt would have the original, you know, suited bodies, like, mid-torso in that, and he does. So he has the 
standard hinge joint so his head can go up that far, which is really good. His head can go down that far. Can tilt a little bit. He's got rotation. His neck is a little thin, though, I think, just because they did use that old Coulson mold for the mid-torso. His arms, like I said, can go out that far, which is amazing. Can rotate all the way around. He's got bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that go up all the way. He has the standard suited hands as well, which is unfortunate, but I mean, I, th I think they work for this. There's really nothing too much that I can gripe about. It would have been cool to have like an up and down hand, maybe the hand that came with Loki or something to have for him to hold his stick, but I think it's fine. As for his torso, it can go that far forward, that far back with the coat, can rotate at the waist. His legs go out that far, can go up and back that far. Thigh swivel, which is a little tight on mine, but not bad. Double jointed knees that go up that far. Could be better, but not bad. He's got the ankle boot, whatever you want to call it, swivel down here, which we've seen, which is really nice. Can go back that far, up that far, and of course he does have ankle pivot. And now onto some size comparisons. Here he is next to Kingpin, and then this wave's Spider-Man, and these three look great together. I'm getting a sense of deja vu from spider-man video but these three seriously look great together and i can't wait to see them cross over more as we go forward in the mcu fingers crossed as for some other figures in this wave well technically we have the toby spider-man and then the andrew spider-man and i still can't get over the fact that we got the three of these in one movie together like how how insane is that like if you had told someone that hell even a year before no way home came out you would have just had so many people being like oh shut up you don't know what you're talking about you're just wishful thinking and then we got these three in a spider-man movie together like that's and it wasn't even any of their own projects that's what's amazing and then here we have him next to my custom season one version of daredevil using the hawkeye body and then the mezco head and then the Legends Moon Knight, and I think these three look great together as well. I wish that we could have gotten a Oscar Isaac head for that Moon Knight or the Mr. Knight, either or, but I mean, how often would we have displayed that like that? Eh, you know? Obviously it's not Matt Murdock's body, it's Clint's body that I made the mat on. It's just, and then looking at him next to Moon Knight, I think that this Daredevil might be a little small. And that's, you know, it makes sense. It is using the Colson body and all that stuff. I have faith, though, that whenever they give us a new Daredevil, because that'll... I can't imagine that they'd use the old body, because not a lot of people like the proportions on that one. So I would imagine we would get just the... Like, a complete brand new sculpt for Daredevil going forward. And I hope that we do. And I think it'll be more in line with this. But for, you know, just Matt Murdock and his street clothes, I think it's perfectly serviceable. I mean, that was pretty much my overall thoughts. Like, this figure is... He's solid. He's perfect for what he needs to be. If you put him next to some other heroes like Moon Knight and my custom, you know, Daredevil, but it's it's a little shoddy, but I think that, honestly, you know, of course, some trick of the camera stuff, you just have him up here leading the charge and all that, I think that this works. So yeah, it's going to do it for me, and I will catch you all in the next one. See ya.